I recently bought a non-Apple 60 watt power adapter for my 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro. The good reviews helped me decide to order the item online even if I was a bit hesitant. We are going to unbox the power adapter and see if it will charge my MacBook like the original. Please like and subscribe and click the notification bell icon to get notified about new videos like this. I ordered the charger through Shopee.com. PH. It is a Singaporean e-commerce platform that we also use here in the Philippines. The Apple power adapter costs 5,000 pesos or $78, while I bought the non-Apple power adapter for 579 pesos. The product was shipped from China and it took 5 days before I received it. The product is packed with uh, the usual gray or black plastic. You will see that the seller wrapped the charger in an air cushion to protect it from damage when in transit. The white product box is simple with some basic product information. The packaging also came with a free mobile phone ring holder. And in the box you get the charger and one AC plug connector with the built-in cable organizer just like the original power adapter. When I ordered this, I selected a connector that is compatible with the type of plugs we use here in the Philippines. And if you need something different, you will have that option too. At first glance, you won't be able to tell if this is Apple made or not. The charger is almost an exact copy of the original. However, I noticed the cable to be a little thinner. The plug connector doesn't seem to go all the way in and I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's okay since it is new. Here is a look at both uh, chargers side by side. The non-Apple product has no logo and I think you can see the difference in the cable thickness as well. Now let us see if it's going to do what it's supposed to do which is charge the MacBook. The MagSafe tip is very identical and it even has the LED indicator when plugged in. Within 15 minutes, it was able to charge from 12% to 30%. The charger was not hot to the touch when it is charging, but I still have to keep an eye on this one since it is not Apple made. If you can afford to buy the original, I would highly recommend buying the original Apple power adapter unless you do not have a choice There you have it, a quick unboxing of the non-Apple 60 watt power adapter. Please like and subscribe and click the notification bell icon to get notified about new videos like this. See you next time.